I don't respond to the next day. It's just whatever mood I'm in. It's just whatever mood I'm in. What makes a narcissist? I was talking about the fact that I had this investigative authority against Compass Realty that I was that I had just gotten just a few days before Mr. Grimm was murdered, and she never picked up that torch. Um, I don't feel the need to, to pick up the phone from everybody who's, you know, who's calling. Correct? Because I've got the authority to really crack things open so right then. So a sense of grandiosity? Which, again, I'm a lawyer, so I guess, you know, rehang my shingle if I can, do whatever I can. And as I said before, I'm, I'm techie, right? Uh, you know, self-study. Right? You know, I, again, I kind of learned, like, the basics of air conditioning on my own. Um, their ego is their world. They need recognition and will get angry if they and don't so, get it. No question pending. I, I appreciate it. You'll have a chance on Reader. Okay. Well, listen. You, know, you told us a little bit about your story. I mean, right? I mean, you, you put yourself through law school. You opened up a law firm. Um, you were elected to this job. You, you were, I mean, you were proud of the work you were doing at the PA's office, correct? It absolutely was. Okay, and you wanted to remain in that job, correct? I certainly did. Okay. Sir, you were a lame duck as of September 2nd, 2022. Isn't that right? But I still continue to fight Compass Realty. That's not my question. You're out of a job in that. You're not an impediment as of January 1st. Isn't that right? As of January 1st, but I was right then. So, so you're trying to be the case. But while I was still, as you call it, a lame duck, I was still coming after them, sir. Okay, so... Arrogance and superiority. They believe they can only be understood by other special people. And, you know, we had meetings, he and I, and I said, you know what? I, I, this is not okay. I, I'm not going to... I can't agree to that, no, you know. So despite their, their complaints over in Oregon County, my county manager said, you know what, I can't do anything. He's the guy in charge. You know, sorry. That's your C and C and E's that you submitted. That's all we have, right? It's like 10 grand. Even though, according to you, they control everything, they don't put the murder weapon on you? Mm -hmm. Does well, that make any sense? I think it does. Okay. So she, 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 said. No, she, so she was interviewed, I guess you can do the math, she was interviewed by Detective Jappy three and a half years later on that supposed issue. Washing things can make evidence go away, correct? Could it possibly? Yes. Thank you. knowledge at least on it. Um, I understand that she had alleged that... Objection, I, hearsay. Objection, I, hearsay. Um, You're not gonna, you can't go into any hearsay of what somebody uh, else said. Okay, well, um, supposedly I had requested a commission from Kimberly um, and um, objection hearsay Again, when when Zach Schilling was giving his opinion um, about when Zach Schilling was giving his opinion um, well, about about circumstances. But if you want to have a hearing at the end of the day, that's fine too. But again, I would just ask that you limit it to the facts and your personal knowledge and any any of your observations. So, if I have a particular opinion on on some of the testimony, can I share that? Your opinions are not relevant. At Can I share that? Your opinions are not relevant at this time. 
Your opinions are not relevant at this time. So again, I would ask you. So again, I would ask you to limit your testimony. And then according to the judge's counsel, those are matters that could be argued in closing. Okay. Um. I, I believe it's likely that, well, based on what, I, what I'm going to discuss later about what Detective Zeppi did, I... I I believe there's likely there's some type of compensation to him for Objection. for all this. To him for Objection. for all this. Objection. So, of compensation to him for Objection. for all this. So, I'm I'm a I'm a witness. So, I'm I'm a I'm a witness. Just ask you to move on. Sure, sure, absolutely. And, and again, that, sure, sure, absolutely. And, and again, like I said before, I, I can have my opinions. And again, like I said before, I, I can have my opinions, right? And it's up to you to decide. I, I'm not. I'm not the lawyer up here. I'm not. I'm not the lawyer up here. Mr. Oh. Hamner, he wants you to answer the question. I, I need you to listen. I need to finish the question. Oh, I thought you were done. Sorry. Well, so, 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 but I, I guess you can go back to your notes and, and see what Detective Jappy said to you what this was about. Um, because that's, uh, in my opinion, that's clearly not what this was about Objection. what this was about Objection. this is my opinion Objection. this is my opinion okay um um objection relevance yeah the objection is sustained okay well it goes to my theory but i guess we'll we'll have to save that for later From, from that whole time. Objection. Sure. From that whole time. Objection. Sure. I'm not sure why that would be relevant, so I'm going to sustain the relevance objection at this point. Sure. Well, and I guess this goes to a comment that um, Detective Jappy had made, Your Honor. Um, Detective Jappy had said that they performed... The objection was sustained. Oh, okay, but... Uh, okay, but... Um, uh, Oh, okay, but um, no, but, if you but want I to take it up at the end of the day. Happy uh, to. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to explain. Um, I was just going to explain. Um, okay. So, we're, we're, can I speak about what he had said? I, I mean, as far as okay, well, I mean, I, I thought that if it was testified in court that. I could repeat his testimony in court. Is that is that still hearsay? Yeah. Well, generally, I don't like witnesses to say this is what another witness said. Sure, I mean, but the jury will be the one another witness said. Sure, I mean, but something to add based on his testimony. Uh, exactly, exactly that. right. So, in, in order to provide context for one or provide next, um, I just have to remind them of what his testimony was. That's all. Is that okay? Well, that's exactly what I don't allow witnesses to do: is tell the jury what another witness. To. You can say generally, um, but it's not a um, um, inform the jury what another witness testified to. Uh, I mean, I can't tell you what other people testified to, but I will say that and that's the P.O. box, which is current. The second one uh, is 7216 Bronze Circle, um, right. Las Vegas, Nevada. Eight nine. I can't read right. this. Mr. Tellis, that's that's where Mr. Gehrman lived, correct? Uh, yes, sir. That's yes, sir. So the answer to my question is yes. Is that speculation or is that? No, no. I'm just asking you if it's a possibility. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get those documents into. I guess we'll, we'll see how that goes as well. Um, well, I'm going to try to share some thoughts with you about the killer. Um, it was strange to me that the killer 
Objection, proper opinion. I didn't, I didn't get to hear, so um, what did you want to uh, uh, What's the topic? Well, I, I wanted to talk about my observations about the killer. But it's okay, I'll, you know, Thank you. I'll move on. Um, they, when I wanted to reach out to talk to my family, um, to try to put them at ease, I was denied the ability to make any phone calls. When I wanted to speak to an attorney, I was denied the ability to, to talk to an attorney. Okay. I believe that there were actually surveillance logs for every single day, and they just weren't turned over to me. So, so I'm just hoping that you know, my, I'm not stopped from, from sharing with you what, what I have to say. Okay. Sure. Okay, Your Honor. That's okay. I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll go on. Troubles that I had with the ladies in the office that no matter what I was doing um, to try to actually make peace with them, um, giving them raises, whatever things that... Uh, um, Still, again, I have some of the documents that I, I'm going to try to get in. So we'll see if I, if I can get that done. And yet the police claim to have this evidence. They did what they did to me. Did what they did to me. When the defendant testified, a lot of times he didn't use phraseology like, I didn't do this, or I didn't do that, or I didn't stab him, or I didn't go to that scene. It was never that. I mean, maybe from times he would say it, you'll check your notes. But the vast majority of the time, Mr. Tellers would say it like this. I'd like to think I wouldn't do something like this. I'd like to think that I wouldn't do that. Because he could have just simply said, I didn't do that. I didn't touch that bag. But that's not how he words his behavior. I don't believe that I would repeatedly Google him over and over again. I, I would like to think that I wouldn't use my own car in, if I was actually the person who did this. Well, so. shouldn't he have just parked on Bronze Circle originally? Well, I would have thought that, you know, if if he wanted to make sure he got the job done first, that he would not have actually parked the SUV in front to begin with. Oh, that, so that's, that's, that's my belief because, okay. again, that isn't me. Um, I, I would think so. Okay, but... Not professional. Right. I wouldn't think, I wouldn't see how that makes sense. That's a lot of photos, correct? It would be. It looks like surveillance, doesn't it? It looks like a stupid way to do surveillance. Right, it looks kind of amateurish, doesn't it? Right. That's Jeff Garman's house, correct? I have come to learn that it is his house. Combat this with my own narrative to try to Again, win the race. Right. You're so uh, asking you again. Again, that, that would have been if, if in fact that was the case, if in fact I left my phone at home, then sure, yes. So the interesting thing about, you know, this situation, and, and I guess, you know, this thing that's going to happen, I, over an hour and a half, just tell me what's going on. Tell me what's, you know. I mean, obviously at this point, I, I had my suspicions because of like the, the whole, you know, all that thing. Um, I mean, how does some how does someone plan to have a victim in this in a particular area at their home? I don't. That's again. So just by this time, it's already twelve fifty three when we're at number thirty two. So I already have my my myself at the gym, right, sir. Um, I did not ever hang out with Mr. when he was alive. My question is, yeah. Um, I don't know that I was planning things to be suspicious or not suspicious, sir. Okay. But I knew I didn't do this thing. There's over 132 images in your phone focusing on that. Would you say that's a lot of detail? If that was on my phone, I guess I would say yes. Okay. A hundred and one, correct? That's what it alleges. That's that's fairly that's that's a lot of photos, correct? It would be. It looks like surveillance, doesn't it? It looks like a stupid way to do surveillance. Right, it looks kind of amateurish, doesn't it? Right. You know, and I say regrettably, I think we both regret the mistake, but we both 
and we had a romantic affair with each other. Okay, so you, you did you did lie to him, correct, on that topic? I, I didn't think that that was the public's business. That's not my question. My question yes, is... I, I, I did lie regarding that particular issue, yes. Okay. Uh, when you sat down, when you spoke with him, were you truthful in your interview? Not entirely, no. Okay. What were you untruthful about? Uh, about the extent of the relationship with me and Roberta Lee Kennett. Okay. What was different? What did you say versus the truth? Um, I, I said that, you know, she and I had no affair. Uh, I, I can't imagine the kind of person that would... Objection. Sustained. So I personally can't imagine myself to be the kind of person... Sustained. I am not the kind of person...